Hi crafters, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I am super excited to be showing you how to create this gorgeous card using our new Build a Bouquet collection. So we're going to do this card but a little bit of a twist on it. Um, so on this one we've actually used the papers from the beautiful Butterflies paper pad but to change it up I'm going to use the brand new Beautiful Bouquets papers because they are absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to dive on in and get started. I'm going to do a little bit of matting and layering first and then we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous bouquet. I am going to change the glitters up a little bit to the ones that we've got on the finished sample because we've got some brand new sparklicious. As always, everything is linked in the description below. So please do have a little look and you can shop all of the products online at www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. Okay then, we are going to get started. So I've got an 8x8 eight eight card blank to start with. And I've got a gorgeous piece of my patterned paper that's cut to size. So I've cut it down to about 7 and 3 quarters. You can see it's got this beautiful white print on there on that lovely minty green background. So we're just going to start off by taking a little bit of Kalal all-purpose glue and that's going to go straight onto the back of this paper here. And then we're going to stick that down onto our card blank, like so. Now, as always, I've got my fold for my card at the very top, like across the top spine, really, of the card. So just going to shuffle this up and stick that down. And you can see that's created your first little matte and layer. Next up, I've taken a piece of our Rose Quartz Matte Mirror card and a piece of our gorgeous patterned paper. And then I'm just going to glue this one onto here as well. And stick that down like so. And we'll grab some foam pads. Just put these out of my drawer. Oh, in my drawer. Let me just grab some. I've moved them. That'll be why. So these are, of course, our fabulous foam pads on a roll that we use all the time here at Chloe's Creative Cards. The roll is a lot bigger than I've just shown you. Um, obviously this one I've been using. So I'm gonna put some foam pads onto the back of here. Okay, and then we're gonna layer this down onto our base card. So we'll just peel the backs off the foam pads here. And stick this one down onto our base card. You can also see that I'm going to pop some little jewels onto here as well. So I'm going to grab in my Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue and my beautiful Bokeh's Bling Box, which is a new one. I'm going to take out some of these little green jewels. So I've gone for the smallest size. Okay, and then we're going to take this and we're going to just pop three little dots of glue just down the side there just take my picky up table and just drop these down into place Like so. Okay, so that's my basic matting and layering done. So I'm going to pop that to one side so that we can start to build our base card. So I've got a piece of our lovely crystal white pearl card, which I've got trimmed about to size, but I've got a little bit where I can trim it off to create a matte and layer. And I'm going to take my gorgeous bouquet builder stamp. So this is part of our builder bouquet collection. We're going to be using the golden pine embossing glitter and a clear embossing ink pad and my little anti-static bag. I'm going to start off by dusting over my card with my anti-static bag and then I'm going to take my stamp, just move that out the way and move that out the way and I'm going to ink it up 
using my Wow Clear Embossing Ink Pad. So you want lots of light tapping all over the image. Then we're going to take this and place it down onto our card. So I'm going to position that and place it about there, I think. This is why I always start with a little bit of card that's a little bit larger because then if you don't quite get it central, you can always just trim a little bit off one side. So I'm going to stamp that down, lift that off. We're going to grab in a piece of scrap paper and we're going to take our golden pine embossing glitter. It's going to go over the top and we're going to tap away any excess powder there. And then we're going to pop that back into the jar. That is one of the Stamps by Chloe exclusive colours as well. It's been out for a little while that one, so some of you might have it in your stash. Okay, then we're going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat this up. So we're going to hold this heat gun still. And then as soon as we see that embossing powder start to melt and change, we are just going to move the heat gun over the image. And you can see how that's created that beautiful sparkly image. Now, what I then like to do is I like to take a, a marker pen and colour in the leaves. And the reason why I do that is just because if you miss a little bit with your glue and your glitter, you'll get the green shining through as opposed to getting the white card. So the colour that I'm using is pea green and this is a Copic marker. It really does not matter though. You can use literally any colour of green marker you like. So you are literally just going to go in like so. And just infill. Like this. Okay, so we're just going to work our way around, infilling this one all in. Like so. Okay, don't have to be too careful either, just roughly coloured in is fine. And then we're going to take our Art Glitter Dries Clear PVA glue. Okay, and we're going to just go in and infill these little leafy sections like so. They're dead easy to do. So we're just going to work our way around, infilling these little sections of the leaves. Like so. Okay. 
And then we're going to cover that with the new Magical Meadow Sparklicious Glitter. So this is a lovely green and it's got different grades of glittery. So it's going to give you a really nice bling and sparkle on the leaves. Any of the little chunky bits that are just over the lines, you can just push those back in with your nail. So you can see how gorgeous that looks. Okay. So that is the basis of our gorgeous bouquet. So I'm going to pop that to one side and then we're going to take our flower dies. Now, the flower stamp and die sets that we've got in the Builder Bouquet range, we are using this one, which is the beautiful Bouquet Blossom. So this is a four petal flower. We've done it slightly differently. So you can die cut out your shapes, you can die cut multiple of these, and then you're going to stamp afterwards, which is different to what we normally do. But on the stamp afterwards, we've actually left off the outline of the flower, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to line them up. So what we're going to do is take our pearl paper. So I'm going to just cut a couple to show you. I'm going to fold my paper in half so it cuts two at once. So let me see if I can fit the three little dies on there, which I can. And then I'll take my low tack tape. Now, the one thing that I would say to be a little bit careful of with your low tack tape is just be careful where you are sticking your dies. And the reason for that is you don't want to put your tape directly across the middle because you can get a little bit of a sticky residue. And if you get that, what that then means is it's going to be... Um, it, it's going to mean that your embossing powder, if you're embossing, could cling to that section. So you just want to carefully tape those in place. Pop those on your cutting plate and run them through your die cutting machine, like so. And just hear that running through. And then we're just going to grab these at the other side. And just push these out like so so for this project in total you're going to need four of the large flower you are going to need two of the medium flower and you're going to need six of the small flower okay so i'm going to take the large one and i'll show you how to create one of the gorgeous flowers so we want to grab our stamp pin i seem to have lost a stamp and it's travels there. You know what? I'm just going to open a new set, I think. It's definitely gone missing. Right, we'll open the set up and then you can have a little look inside. So you can see with these stamps how we've left the outline off. So this is your large, this is your medium, this one's your small. We've also popped a little stamp in the middle for stamens. So if you want to stamp and emboss those, you can. And then you've got sentiments on there as well that say, you did it, you make me burst with pride and thanks a bunch. So, we're going to take the large flower first. I'm going to take my acrylic block, stick that onto there, and I'm going to grab my flowers in. I'm going to give these a little dust over just with my anti static bag. And I'm going to ink this up using my Wow Clear embossing ink pad, like so. We're then going to take our stamp and just line it up over the top. Because the stamps are clear, you can hover and then press. And lift that away. It's one. And we're going to do the same with the next one here. So we're going to position that down. Hover, hover, hover. And then when you're happy, press. If you're slightly off, don't worry too much. It just adds a little bit of texture to the petals. So I'm then going to take my Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. Just going to give this a little shuffle. And there we go. And the next one here. And then we're going to heat that up. So that's going to go back into the jar. And we're going to heat up the petals. 
So what you'll notice is the powder goes from like a, a very light grey colour to a lovely bright white. I'm going to just shuffle this one in. Sometimes you might just need something to hold the flower in place. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is grab in some scrap paper. And we're going to take our worn lipstick Distress Oxide ink pad and our fabulous Chloe's Creative Cards blending brush, which you have all been loving. So you're going to start with your blending brush and just work in the middle of the flower and just work your way out like this. And these blending brushes are truly fabulous. They are going to give you a lovely smooth blend every time they do the work for you. You don't need to put much pressure on the bristles. Just a really nice light pressure and work in a circular motion. And then the ink will brush out onto the petals. Like so. Okay, so you can see how gorgeous that is then looking. So what I'm going to do next is take a little piece of kitchen roll and just rub over the petals just to take any ink off the embossing and then you'll get that bright white popping on there so what we're going to do next is take our dry clear glue again we're just going to go in and pop some little dots little dots of glue onto the petals like so and then we're going to take one of our new Sparklicious glitters. Okay, so the glitter that I'm using is called Pink Perfection. And it's an ultra, ultra, very, very fine sparkly pink. It's gorgeous. It's more like a glitter dust. It's definitely one of the finest we've ever done. But it gives you this really elegant, sophisticated sparkle to your project. So we're then going to take our little flower, oops, let's lift that up, tap away the excess, just pop those to one side. Okay, and then we're going to pop this back into the jar. Okay, so what I've then done is just taking a little piece of matte mirror and this is in the pale pink which is rose quartz and die cut out the little stamens that you get in the set i'm just going to do the large one to show you because i've got the large flower to make up but you die cut out one of the medium three of the small and one of the large okay and we're going to just take our cutting plate which have popped down somewhere. Can't be far, can they? There they are. I'm going to run this through our die cutting machine. Again, I'm just using my Gemini. And then we're going to grab that when it gets to the other side. Like so. And then we're going to lift this away and push the little stamen out. You can see how fab that's then looking. So what we're then going to do is take our gorgeous flower and we're going to just pinch, pinch down the centre of the petals. Like so. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Pinch down the middle. And then we're going to pop a little blob of glue in the middle of there. And layer these up one on top of each other. And you can see how pretty that flower is that this then builds. What you can then do is just go around and add some little dots of glue onto the edge of the stamen. And again, cover that with the pink perfection. Then we're going to take our fabulous, beautiful bouquet's bling box and take one of the large pink bling stones and just drop that down into the centre. And then we're going to stick that into the middle of the flower. 
So to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of my Pin Flare Glue Gel. A little bit on the back and then just stick that down in the middle, like so. Okay, so you would then create your flowers at home the exact same way, the large and the medium. And you would end up with some beautiful flowers, like exactly like these ones here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my little 4K builder piece. I'm going to mat this onto some of our aquamarine mirror card. So I'm going to grab a piece of this in and we're just going to trim up this down a little bit now. So I personally like to work by measuring. Just measure, so it's about six inches. So if we take this down by about a quarter of an inch, just try and be careful because I don't want to squash my glitter too much. There we go. So if we take this down to five and three quarters, so we can just take a little bit off each side. Okay. And let's just measure the height. Okay, I'm going to take it down to six and three, which is what it is. So then we're going to cut a piece of this to six inches by seven hopefully that will then oh done that just a little bit wrong if we trim that down to seven we want this to be six and three quarters which is up there so then we can map those two together like so ready to go onto our card okay so before we do that i'm going to grab in my crystallina glitter and i'm just going to do a little bit of edging around the side of this piece of card so i'm using one of our chisel tip glue pens just dragging that along the edge I'm using our crystallina. This is the fine one, not the chunkier one. I'm just going to work around and just edge, edge this little piece. Like so. You can see how gorgeous that is then looking. Okay, and then we're going to just pop that down onto our base card. Do the same with this one here. Okay. And we're going to just pop the foam pads on the back here. And then we're going to take the backing off of these. onto our card so we're going at a slight angle there and we're going to pop the next one directly on top and then we're going to take the back off of here Then we're going to just hover onto our base card, pop that down onto there so you can see how fab that's then looking. So what we're then going to start to do is build up our bouquet. So you can start to position your flowers onto your card and this is something I would always recommend kind of doing before you commit to sticking. So you can kind of position them down, see where you want to stick these. Put one in there, one just in there. So you can really kind of layer them up. And obviously it's up to you. You can go to town and add loads of flowers. If you just want to add two or three, you can do as well. 
So what we're then going to do is take our pin flare glue and just start to stick, stick these down onto our base card. Like so. so these are all of my little flowers that have dried. Okay, and then what we've done, and I have had to just pre-prep this part here, is I've taken a few of these leaves from the Builder Bouquet set. So let me grab that in to show you. So it's this one here. So it's just a little leaf stamp, and we've stamped these onto heat-resistant acetate, then glittered them from behind with that magical meadow. And I'm just going to tuck a few of these in behind the little bouquet. So to do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue gel and tuck them in like this behind the flowers. Like so. Tuck one in here. Maybe there's one. just to add a little bit more foliage in there. Okay, and then what I've also done, and this is a real sneak peek, is I've taken, this is the berry spray um, die set, and I've die cut some of these out just from some, from some pink card. And all I'm gonna do is go in and add a little bit of that pink perfection glitter onto them, and also some self-adhesive sparkles got the pink self-adhesive sparkles here. We're literally just going to go in and dot a couple of these little sparkles all over the base like this. Okay, and then we're going to take our glue, apply tiny little dots of glue on there. Like so, and then cover that with that gorgeous pink perfection glitter. Just tap a little bit of that over the top and we're going to do that. I've got four of these little sprays to do. So this is new, the berry spray. It's coming in a slightly different collection, but that collection is due to be released pretty soon. So I thought let's use it on this video. So we're just going in, adding the little dots because you've got the deboss detail on here, which is beautiful. Sprinkle that glitter over the top and then pop that to one side. So we're just going to work around adding the little self-adhesive sparkles onto here and just layering this all up really nicely. And then one more here. Just a couple more of these little sparkles on there. And these little sparkles make such a difference. They are gorgeous. That on and then cover that with that pink perfection just shuffle those out the way so that i can pop this back into the jar now just be mindful when you get our sparklicious glitters once the air gets in them they do expand so just be careful when you're popping it back into the jar because sometimes it's a little bit challenging to get it all back in there we go okay so we're going to grab our card back in we're going to start and tuck these little sprays in behind. Now what I'm going to do is take my scissors, I'm going to just snip a little bit off the bottom here. Just slide that in there. Okay. 
I got it there. And you can literally just work your way around, popping in this gorgeous foliage just in and around. background like so okay and then I'm going to grab some of our floral sequins so I'm going to use the pink ones and these sequins are fab they're lovely just for dotting about in the background so I'm just going to take a couple of these and just dot them in and around the little bouquet these out the bag these are honestly so so free and just pop another little one just in there and see how that is then looking i've then taken the little string bow die and i've just die cut that out from some rose quartz matte mirror pop a little bit of glue on the back of there stick that down and I'm going to put a bling stone in the middle of there too. So I'm going to take one of the gorgeous pink ones from the beautiful Bokeh's bling box. So that's then going to go into the middle of there. Okay. And then I've taken some of the smaller elements. So this is from the tiny tag and sentiment plaque. So I've taken the sentiment plaque die. I've die cut the outside edge out of the rose quartz map mirror. And I've cut the inner inner plaque out from crystal white pearl card. So I'm going to take the little sentiment that says, you're the best. And I'm going to add a little heart in next to that. I'm going to take my acrylic block. And I'm going to just grab some of the silver embossing powder yes i have there we go so we're going to take the you're the best i'm going to put the little heart down there just check that's going to all fit just could shuffle up a fraction so we've got you're the best shuffle the little heart up and that's going to go onto there so we're going to take our little anti-static bag going to ink up the sentiment and then we're going to place that down onto our base card onto our little bit of card and press i'm going to cover that with my silver super fine with these sentiments as well as they are very small i would recommend using the metallic silver super fine and then we're going to take a little sentiment again from the set i'm going to go for thanks I'm going to stamp that onto the tiny tag. This tiny tag is gorgeous. You've got the little scalloped edge detailing and then you've got the little heart at the top as well. So we're going to stamp the thanks onto there. Lift that away. I'm going to sprinkle that with the embossing powder. And then we're going to take that, tap away the excess. There we go. So that's ready to be heated. This is this one that says you're the best and if you've got any little fingerprints on there just go in before you heat it up and take those away you can use a little fine paintbrush as well to do that right so i'm going to shuffle those out the way i'm going to pop this powder back into the jar i'm going to grab this one here I'm going to heat this up. Hit the little fangs as well. There we go. So we're going to take that little tag. I'm going to just tuck it underneath the bow. there 
like so. And then we're going to take the You're the Best. I'm going to stick those two together and pop that onto the base, like so. I'm going to stick this down onto our base card. So let's just get this all nicely layered up. Okay. And then to finish off, I'm going to add three little jewels just in the bottom corner here. Using that beautiful bouquet's bling box. That is a slightly larger size one as well. Just going to stick these down. Oops. Oh my word, she doesn't want to pick up. There we go. Onto our bit. <laughs> Onto our base card. Like so. And you can see that would then be your finished card. So I really hope that you have enjoyed recreating this project with me today. Of course, as always, all of the materials are available to buy from chloescreativecards.co.uk and everything that I've been using is listed in the description below. So please do have a little look on there. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Please do subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye!